Welcome to the Rare History Channel. Top 12 Jaw-Dropping Facts About Ferdinand Porsche He was an Austrian-born automotive engineer and founder of the Porsche AG and he was best known for creating the first gasoline-electric hybrid vehicle, Lohner Porsche, the Volkswagen Beetle, the Auto Union Racing Car, the Mercedes-Benz SS-SSK, several other important developments, and Porsche automobiles. An important contributor to the German war effort during World War II, Porsche was involved in the production of advanced tanks such as the VK4501, the, the Elephant self-propelled gun, and the Panzer 8 Maus Super Heavy tank, as well as other weapon systems, including the V1 flying bomb. Porsche was a member of the Nazi Party and an officer of the Schutzstaffel, SS. He was a recipient of the German National Prize for Art and Science, the SS Erinnerung, and the War Merit Cross. Here are the top 12 amazing facts about Ferdinand Porsche. Fact number 1. Early life and education. Ferdinand Porsche was born on September 3, 1875, in Mafersdorf, Austria-Hungary, now the Czech Republic. From a young age, Porsche exhibited a keen interest in engineering and mechanics. His father, Anton Porsche, was a skilled tinsmith, which sparked his fascination with machines and their inner workings. Ferdinand honed his skills through apprenticeships and technical training, acquiring a comprehensive understanding of automotive engineering principles and design. His early exposure to the emerging field of electric vehicles would lay the foundation for his later innovations. Number 2. He was an automotive engineer. The study of automotive engineering is to design, develop, fabricate, and test vehicles or vehicle components from the concept stage to the production stage. Production, development, and manufacturing are the three major functions in this field. He is, therefore, best known for creating the first gasoline-electric hybrid vehicle, the Volkswagen Beetle, the Auto Union Racing Car, the Mercedes-Benz, several other important developments, and the Porsche Automobile. Number 3. The People's Car, Ferdinand Porsche and the Birth of the Volkswagen Beetle Ferdinand Porsche's collaboration with Adolf Hitler and the Nazi regime led to the creation of the iconic Volkswagen Beetle. Hitler envisioned a low-cost, reliable car that could accommodate a family of five, and Porsche was entrusted with bringing this vision to life. With his expertise in automotive engineering, Porsche designed the Volkswagen Beetle, known for its distinctive shape and affordable price. The Beetle quickly gained popularity, becoming a symbol of German engineering prowess and eventually evolving into one of the best-selling cars in history. Number 4. Forced Labor, Porsche's Utilization of Forced Laborers Another shocking fact about Ferdinand Porsche is his company's use of forced labor during the war. Porsche GmbH employed thousands of forced laborers, including prisoners of war and concentration camp inmates, to meet production demands. These individuals endured inhumane conditions, facing harsh treatment and exploitation. The exploitation of forced laborers for industrial gain remains a dark stain on Porsche's legacy. Number 5. Post-War Controversies, Ferdinand Porsche's Legal Troubles after World War II, Ferdinand Porsche faced legal repercussions for his involvement with the Nazi regime. He was arrested and detained by the French military authorities in 1945, accused of war crimes and crimes against humanity. Porsche spent almost two years in prison but was eventually released with outstanding trial. The controversial circumstances surrounding his post-war fate and the leniency he received due to his engineering contributions have continued to spark debates and controversy. Number 6. He was an important contributor to the German war effort during World War II. World War II was a global war that lasted from 1939 to 1945, it involved the vast majority of the world's countries. He was therefore an important contributor to the German war effort during World War II when he produced a heavy tank design in 1942, the VK4501 also known as Tiger, P. And also in November 1945, he was asked to continue the design of the Volkswagen in France and to move the factory equipment there as part of war reparations. Number 7. He was a member of the Nazi Party. In 1937, 
He joined the Nazi party thus becoming member no. 5,643,287 and an officer of the Schutzstaffel, SS. By 1938, he was using the SS as security personnel and drivers at his factory, and later set up a special unit called SS Sturmwerk Volkswagen. In 1942, he reached the rank of SS Oberführer. The Nazi party, officially referred to as the National Socialist German Workers was a political party in Germany active between 1920 and 1945 that created and supported the ideology of Nazism. Number 8. He developed a four-wheel drive Formula One car. The Porsche 360 Cisitalia had 385 horsepower and could top 200 miles per hour but because of the owner's lack of funding and change to the rules, the car never got to race. Number 9. He designed the Mercedes-Benz Type 80 to be the fastest car on earth. German Press Ball, January 1939. Dr. Ferdinand Porsche, fourth from the left, presents the Volkswagen Tombola Prize to Mrs. Elsa Ellinghausen, the lucky winner, by Bundesarchiv, Bild. In 1939 the car projected a top speed of 470 miles per hour which obliterated the land speed record. Certain global events meant that it never got the chance to make a record run. The 470 miles per hour was not approached until a quarter century later. Number 10. He was inducted into the International Motorsports Hall of Fame and was named Car Engineer of the Century. The International Motorsports Hall of Fame, Imhoff, is a hall of fame that enshrines those who have contributed the most to motorsports either as a developer, driver, engineer, or owner. Therefore Porsche was inducted into Imhoff in 1996 and in 1999 he was named the Car Engineer of the Century in Las Vegas after the Global Automotive Elections Foundation had overseen the election process. Number 11. He designed the world's first fully electric vehicle. Throughout its development, the loner Porsche evolved through several variations and ultimately emerged as the distant ancestor of a type of vehicle we recognize today as a hybrid. This new vehicle was named Loner Porsche Mixed Hybrid. It featured a Daimler internal combustion engine. In turn, the engine was fitted to a generator to drive the electric hub-mounted motors. That makes it the first petroleum electric hybrid vehicle, or HEV, and demonstrated unequivocally that the engineering brilliance of Ferdinand Porsche was certain. In addition to being very efficient, for its time, the mixed hybrid also proved to be a performance vehicle, it set a land speed record of 35 miles per hour and won the Exelberg Rally in 1901. Number 12. Ferdinand Porsche's Technological Advancements. Ferdinand Porsche was renowned for his technological innovations that pushed the boundaries of automotive engineering. His groundbreaking work included the development of four-wheel drive systems, such as the Porsche Type 360 Cisitalia Grand Prix car, which showcased superior traction and handling capabilities. Additionally, Porsche incorporated advanced aerodynamic principles in his designs, reducing drag and enhancing performance. He also played a crucial role in advancing engine technology, introducing innovations like the first gasoline electric hybrid vehicle, the Loner Porsche Mixed Hybrid, which featured regenerative braking and impressive fuel efficiency.